What's new crew? Welcome back to my channel. Today upon popular request I am showing you guys a really easy fish recipe during a lot of my grocery hauls. I get questions on if I could show you guys a super easy fish recipe because you guys are interested so I'm going to show you guys my quickest and easiest fish recipe. I'm just going to take out a bowl and the first thing I'm going to do is just take out a couple globs of butter and then I'm just going to pour in a couple little things of lemon juice and then I'm just going to go ahead and pop that in the microwave so the butter melts and kind of gets all ooey gooey so we can pour it over our fish. So this seems like a really simple step, but I would definitely not skip it. I'm just going to line my sheet pan in aluminum foil. It's going to make cleanup so much easier. And then I'm just going to take my olive oil cooking spray and spray over the tin foil so the fish doesn't stick to the tin foil while it's cooking. And it's going to make everything so much easier, I promise. So please do not skip this. So right after I finish doing that, I'm going to go ahead and set my oven to... I don't remember. What did I set it to here? Let's see, guys. I think 425 or 450. 450. So I'm going to go ahead and set my oven to 450 and let that preheat. And then by the time I'm done with all of the prep work, uh, my oven will be ready to throw the fish in. So you can use whatever fish you want, but I'm going to be using Mahi Mahi for Joe. And then for myself and the kids tonight, we were using just plain specific cod. I got both of these bags from Walmart. They just come in these little individually wrapped pieces, as you can see, and I'm just cutting them open and laying them out onto the sheet pan to get ready to pour all of that butter and lemon juice on it that we prepped earlier. So this is just what my tray looks like after I've just laid the fish on it. So this is our bowl with butter and lemon juice, and I'm going to be showing you guys all the spices that I throw in it, but honestly, you guys, it's just about a dash of this, a pinch of that, but one spice that I would definitely recommend you use is lemon pepper. It makes everything so much easier. Honestly, you could just put some lemon pepper in this bowl and call it good to go. Another spice, if you're looking for something that's just kind of like a one and done, is this one spice that I get from Aldi, and it's just garlic and herb roasted. This spice is also really good on chicken as well, so it's just really good uh, one spice if you're looking for something like super, super simple. So this is our butter with all of our spices put in it as well as our lemon juice, and now I'm just going to go ahead and pour that over the top of all of our fish. So you're going to see me here in a second. I'm going to put this Cajun seasoning on just Joe's fish. He really likes it, but pregnancy, I can't have it. It'll give me such bad heartburn and acid reflux. But this is what our fish looks like after the butter, the lemon pepper, and everything is on it. This is what it looks like when it's done cooking in the oven. And it's just super simple, you guys. I put it in the oven, I think, for like 30 minutes. And it was good to go. And we paired ours with some homemade mac and cheese and some leftover green beans that we had out of my mother-in-law's garden. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to join the crew by hitting that red subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!